One, we want to appreciate what government has done so far with the resources we have entrusted with them. We know that uh, there are many projects and programs that the government would wish to accomplish. Therefore, it requires money, for sure. However, the government must understand the times we are in. They are lean times. People do not have resources. We have a lot of young people who are not gainfully employed. So the moment you introduce taxes on their informal businesses, Mpesa and such, you really hit them very hard because they are not gainfully employed. So government must balance between collecting revenue and taking care of our young people who are not gainfully engaged. Therefore, as a church, we are saying that uh, this finance bill needs to be relooked. Much as there are laws that govern collection of revenue, we shouldn't be in a hurry to implement the budget because it is affecting a lot of people negatively, particularly any taxes that are touching on the informal sector. One thing that government should do is really look its expenditure. Because, of course, it needs money to expend. But at the same time, we they, they need to look at where are they spending much money that they need to reduce spending. Like, for instance, we are talking about uh, foreign travel. We see delegations leaving the country. We are not sure they bring in again after they have left. When they come back, they never, we don't see anything that they have brought home. Why should we spend all that money, delegations to travel abroad? Can fewer people travel? And uh, when they travel, let us, let us know the gains that come out of that travel. That is just one area where government should be creative in knowing where money is being spent in the long way. Otherwise, putting more financial burden on the people is not going to be received well by a population that is suffering financially. You cannot say that we threw it away because it was done by experts. What needs to be done is that uh, a careful scrutiny of the budget, looking it again and seeing where is it inflicting pain on the people. What can be reduced? What can be done away with? What taxes don't we need to introduce at this time? What taxes do we, should we maintain as they were? So we can't say we threw it away because it was our job that was done by experts and I believe they are also Kenyans. So there should be a, a place where both sides meet. We the people who pay taxes and government so that we can see because if we say throw it away completely we are saying we don't want roads. We are saying we should not have teachers and doctors. We should not have drugs in our hospitals. We should, we should not have security. We cannot throw it away entirely. As they say, you don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. But there is a way you can look at it to ensure that it doesn't inflict a lot of pain, particularly to the informal sector. Meet the house, it is the
Mais 